This is Diana Mahoney with the Global Medical News Network reporting from the 25th Congress of Clinical Rheumatology in Destin, Florida. I'm speaking with Dr. John Varga, Professor of Medicine at Northwest University Feinberg School of Medicine. Dr. Varga presented a lecture today on the vascular complications of systemic sclerosis. Dr. Varga, among the vascular complications of systemic sclerosis, pulmonary hypertension is the most profound in terms of its impact on survival. Are there any clinical or laboratory predictors of pulmonary hypertension? Uh, well, yes, we know that certain types of scleroderma, particularly patients with the Crest syndrome, are more likely to have pulmonary hypertension. And then using an echocardiography to look for evidence of abnormal pulmonary pressure can identify those patients. There's also a blood test called BNP, and if the results of the blood tests are elevated, those patients also should be worked up for possible pulmonary hypertension. Um, in terms of um, an actual diagnosis, what are the most important screening considerations? Uh, again, the echocardiography, if the measurement shows a pressure that's elevated above normal, those patients very likely could have pulmonary hypertension, and then we recommend that they go on to have further evaluation of the cardiac catheterization. Um, in terms of treatments, what are the current therapies? There's a number of therapies that are coming out now. The endothelial receptor antagonists have been approved for over five years, and an increasing number of patients are going on that. There's some very promising results from a variety of studies. There is uh, drugs of the sildenafil type that work by increasing nitric oxide levels that also seem to be effective. And there's a, another group of drugs that are the prostacycline kind of drugs that are typically given by intravenous infusion or by inhalation that are also effective. So there's now three different classes of drugs. Several others are also in the pipeline. Okay. Um, in terms of those drugs on the pipeline, what, what's on the horizon for this? Uh, on the horizon are other prostacycline type drugs that are more stable, that will be easier to use. Other kind of inhibitors that may have less toxicity will be better tolerated. And a number of other chemicals that are in, in animal models look very promising. This is Diana Mahoney with the Global Medical News Network reporting from the 25th Congress of Clinical Rheumatology.